anyways so it is super bowl sunday and i thought what better day to make a diy video than today right 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 that's what i said okay so i decided to make something that i actually needed so i wanted a new little candlestick holder which i am so obsessed with the way that it came out it's super super sparkly and it's just what i was wanting um i specifically wanted it to just like for my Bath and Body Works candles to just set them on top, but I wanted them to sit on something super cute. So that's what I made that for. I'm on the hunt for um, additional candlesticks like that for other projects that I wanted to do, but you guys, those candlesticks fly off the shelf. So if you guys ever see those mirrored candlesticks at the Dollar Tree, they have them in like a round, um, a round design and like a square design swoop them up because they're super cute and yeah anyway so the second project i decided to do the small flower vase with the with the rose vase i'm sorry and i've actually done a rose vase previously in the past and it was actually a lot bigger and i will share a picture of that with you guys right here it's my first time doing this so i'm hoping that i can make it happen So that is my flower vase and I love it. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I get so many compliments on it. So that specific, big, the big one, I was inspired by it by something I saw at Home Goods, except that it costs like, I think it was like 40 bucks. Um, and I made it for just about like $15. And I think it's absolutely beautiful and I get tons of compliments on it. And it's so, like you can move it anywhere it can go in any space it's absolutely adorable anyway so i hope you guys like this video um if you want to keep seeing videos like this or something similar to this make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and um like this video and yeah here we go all right so for this project we're gonna need some e6000 or some strong glue I got some diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna need a candlestick from the Dollar Tree. I was only able to find one. I really wanted to make three of these, but these are hard to come across. So if you guys see these, snag them up. You're gonna need a round mirrored coaster and then two of these, or one of these floral foams and it's a two pack, but we're only gonna be using one today. And then a hot glue gun. Start by taking these out of here. And then you can save that for another project. I plan to make a second one, um, so I'll save that for later. You're gonna use one of these here and you're gonna take the diamond wrap and you're just gonna literally glue it on here. So I'm just gonna measure this out Here. I think I might need to take some. So now it will evenly wrap all the way around. And it is gonna hang over a little bit because it is a little deeper than the foam is, but I kind of like it that way. So we'll go ahead and glue that. <music> You get this mirrored glass and you're gonna t put on um, some glue, some hot glue.
this rose vase, we are gonna need a pencil, four mirrored coasters, the square ones from the Dollar Tree, some E6000, some of this uh, floral foam. It's a two pack, we're only gonna need one. Two of the rose bouquets, you can get them in any color or you can get any flowers that you like. I went ahead and went with the white roses, some scissors and a hot glue gun. Okay, so I almost forgot. You're also gonna need a foam board. You can also buy another uh, mirrored coaster if you want, or just a piece of cardboard. Um, pretty much anything that you'll use as the bottom base of the floral base. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start by getting a mirrored coaster. I'm gonna put it in the corner here and just sketch it out. And if you have like a box cutter or an X-Acto knife, you can totally use that, but I don't know where mine is at, so I'm just gonna use some scissors and I'm literally gonna cut this piece of cardboard out. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and get this, put this down as our base, and we are gonna go ahead and glue the corners of this with the hot glue gun. And be generous with it. And then you can go ahead and just lean this against it like this and just hold it. stick it in there and then you're gonna get your roses and you're gonna just cut them off 